call me crazy, but a lot of the amphibious Xeon mobile suits are top plushy material, this guy being a top candidate. What is going on guys, MJ2005 Gundam here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the high grade Joagu from Mobile Suit Gundam Unicorn. The elephants that remained from the one year war, it was dug up by Xeon Remnants and participated in the attack on Torrington base. Being an elephant, it's unsurprising that the parts count is on the numerous side as well. You get 7 runners, a sticker sheet, marking sheet, a wire, and a clear film. Being such an out there design, the build is definitely like no other. And apart from feeding the wire into the trunk pieces and head, the build is beginner friendly as each section isn't made up of too many parts, making it a simple construction that is hard to get bored with. Apart from the usual nut marks on dark pieces, this is both beginner and veteran friendly if you can get past the odd looks. All put together and I can't be more astounded by the aesthetics. Let's get the elephant in the room out of the way. That being the Juagu being an actual elephant with a dorayaki looking flat head and a trunk like heat vent, which is an odd design direction rivaled by no other than the Mammoth Gundam. The proportions are spot on, color choice is on point, and the attention to detail is outstanding. Not only does it look like it's pulled straight from the line art, the grid marks on the clear film definitely add a little bit of extra detail on the otherwise round and smooth looks. Stickers are used on the mono eye, grey on the fingers and inside of the trunk, and the red insides of the beam cannons, but the last few aren't really noticeable if they are not used, so a stickerless build isn't all too bad for display. Though if there's one thing I advise some to do is to clean up the seam lines all over the body, which is kind of a necessary compromise for a build as simple as it is. All in all, the high grade Juagu is pretty much presentable straight out of the box, but being so faithful to the design, keep it away from Doraemon lest he mistakes the head for his favorite food. Articulation starts with a single neck joint, followed by a peg for the head rotation. There's a tab underneath the head for moving the mono eye, and the trunk is on a wire, while the tip is on a swivel. The arms can swivel forward, rotate, move up perpendicularly by the pokeball, and rotate at the bicep. The fingers are independent, as well as ball jointed. The waist is on a simplistic swivel, the hips and feet are both on ball joints, and the thighs can swivel out and rotate. Altogether, the articulation of the Juagu is simplistic. It's by no means the best in the market, but it does get the job done for this zoo animal. In terms of accessories, we have no accessories, as the only weapons it has are the triple rocket launchers on the arms that can deflect the beam saber of a clownfish, and the beam cannons that will bore a hole through you if you attempt to hug this thing. Otherwise, there's not much else in the package other than this cute elephant. Ever since I started the hobby 8-9 to nine years ago, I've been eyeing one of these for my collection due to it being an elephant, and based on this review, it's no surprise that I would strongly recommend that you get one of these if you see it. No, I don't advocate elephant poaching, but how well Bandai translated this weird 80s MSV design into a kit that still stands the test of time is reason enough to pick this up. Since it doesn't have the best of articulation, nor does it offer much in terms of play options, unless you get the MSV version, but the focus on looks has well paid off. Plus, it's an exotic and timeless design that is pulled off well in high grade form and can both look cute and deadly. I needn't say much else. And that's all for me. Thank you for watching, drop a like and comment if you did enjoy the video, subscribe for more content like this, and feel free to follow me on social media with the links down below. That said, take it easy, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out guys. Bye bye.